Welcome to PSD to HTML5 and CSS3. This video is called Coding the Header. We're gonna, in this video, we're gonna continue where we left off in the last video, and uh, we're gonna start coding everything in between our header tags. For reference, we're gonna be coding everything uh, within this selection here. We're gonna code the, the logo, navigation, and the hero call to action section. You can see it's gonna be this stuff right here. All right, so let's jump right in. Inside your header tags, we're going to start with the logo. This is an A tag or a link tag. This is what you do to make links in HTML. Uh, the href is uh, part of, uh, a part of the A tag, and it lets the browser know where the link will navigate to. So in this case, it will be forward slash, which references the root of the website or the home page or index. So that's where logos typically go. Inside of here, we're gonna have an image. We're gonna reference in our images folder, our logo.gif. And we're gonna use an alt text to explain what the image is. It's a logo. The reason why this is necessary is uh, there are some users who are visually impaired or blind. Uh, and in order to uh, still have a great user experience, they use screen readers and what the screen reader does is it reads what the website is displaying so that they can visualize or imagine what they're looking at or hear what they're looking at uh, or what the website is displaying rather so not only can it read the title of the site and the content of the site but it can actually read the image uh, it doesn't look at the image and just guess what it is you have to tell it what it is and that's what an alt tag is for it helps the screen reader to explain what the image is so it will say uh, logo or big fuzzy cat or whatever so that's uh, that's how we add our logo right here we're gonna add a couple more things to the a tag we're gonna add a title and say return to home and what title is gonna do is it's gonna add a tooltip to the link so when we hover over it we can see it says return to home it just gives a little bit of direction uh, and we're also gonna add an ID to the a tag we're going to give the ID of logo. So that's our logo. Up next is our nav, our navigation. So we're going to use an HTML5 tag called nav, which is nice. Inside of that, we have an unordered list. An unordered list has child elements called list items, or li tags. Um, inside the li, we're going to have more links because these guys our links so uh, let's leave the href empty because it's not going to navigate anywhere right now and the first nav item I believe is services about it's about so let's copy that paste it two more times that saves us on typing uh, the next one is services and the last one is contact save that have a look there it is, there's our unordered list with our links. All right, so up next we have our hero section, I believe. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I think I deleted this. I'm just gonna re-added it. Uh, in the, the previous video, I already had this added in there. Uh, but in between videos, I must have deleted it. So let's just re-add this. Uh, if you have it already in your HTML, you can just wait for me to code this up. If not, you can add this again. All right, so there's a hero section again. Um, our hero section is going to have uh, it's going to be this section right here. And what we're going to have inside of our hero section is we're going to have this is going to be an element. We're going to call it hero title. And this is going to be a section. And it's going to be our hero image. So let's add our hero title. Let's actually close that first. Practice what I preach. ID hero title. I don't know if I've already mentioned this. Uh, but once you open a tag, it's a good idea 
to close it right away because even the best developers can forget to do that and it can throw you a bunch of errors and it could be a huge pain in the butt later. So just make it a habit of closing your uh, tags as soon as you open them uh, and then add you know extra information like IDs and classes and, and content. Don't just assume you'll remember once you start writing stuff because you'll probably forget. All right, there's a hero title. Inside of a hero title, we have a level one header or an H1, which is going to be really big title. Uh, 2.0, I believe. H2, second level header. Just as a quick note, there are six level headers there. Are H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, each of them are uh, basically, they're ordered in uh, most importance. Uh, basically, an H1 is the most important, or it's the the, uh, the largest heading, not just in size, but in content. It can usually encompass uh, uh, more headings within it. Um, so this is an H1, H2, H3, H4. So you can see, like, kind of the, the way that you would write it is you want to see a clear. If I disable the styles here, you want to see a clear. Uh, semantics here. Whoops. You want to see this is an H1, H2. They get smaller. It's an H3. You know that's it's kind of how it works. It's a it's a good it's a good practice to have your headings uh, in semantic order. So we have an H2, uh, which says simple yet engaging and descriptive subtitles. So simple yet engaging and descriptive subtitle. All right, there we are. And up next, let's just double check that we have that in there. There it is. Up next is our call to action section, which is this right here. We're gonna put this in a section. Let's give it a div. Give it the ID of call to action. And call to action. Inside there, we're going to have two links. Even though this is a button, it's uh, it's technically a link because when you click it, it will navigate somewhere. Uh, and so this is going to be primary call to action, and this one is going to say secondary link action sorry you can see them here there they are uh, quick note um, this isn't what the website's gonna look like uh, this is just the HTML HTML is purely for markup um, and not for presentation of the site it's just the content uh, don't be discouraged when you see this and wonder how the heck it's gonna turn into this but we'll get there. Uh, I remember when I first started building websites, I was really confused and kind of discouraged when I started building my first site and it looked a lot like this. I didn't understand how this turns into something great like this, but worry not, it will with CSS. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give these guys some classes uh, I briefly mentioned, I believe, the difference between class and ID. ID is a specific identifier for uh, an element, and class is uh, something a little more global. You can add classes to uh, any number of elements. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give it the class of button, or BTN, and this is just made up. I just made this class up. It could be anything, but again, that's a poor naming convention, and you won't know what the heck it is. So button. Um, the reason why I'm using a class here is because, for example, this is a button, this is going to be a button, this is a button, and I might have a hundred more buttons throughout the site. And so, uh, by giving this a class of BTN or button, I uh, can style in CSS um, a button style with uh, and attach it to that class, so that any element I give the class of BTN will uh, look like a button. I'm also going to add another class. To add another class or multiple classes, you keep them within the strings here. 
or quotes. These are called strings uh, in web developer world. So I'm going to give it the class of button large. And I'm adding it as a class, not an ID, because I might use more large buttons throughout the site in the future. So just future-proofing myself. This is going to be called button secondary. Uh, save that. They still look the same. All right, so uh, the next section is outside of the hero title. Uh, and it's going to be the big computer image. So I'm going to just put an image just to keep it simple. I'm not going to put it inside of a div or anything like that. It just needs to be an image. Let's reference it. Computer.png in our images folder. Alt tag. Remember your alt, sorry, your alt text. Uh, let's call this large desktop computer. And let's give it the ID of hero image. Save that. Refresh. There it is. So um, I believe that that is all for coding the header. Let's just do a quick review. Here's our header tag. We coded everything inside of here. We have our logo. We have our nav with the UL uh, unordered lists and three list items, which are also links. Here's our hero section, uh, which encompasses the hero title, which has the, the H1 and 2, and our call to action buttons. And then outside of that, as a sibling to hero title, we have the large desktop computer hero image. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to start coding uh, our content. I'll see you there.